Welcome to the Unstoppable Real Estate Agents Podcast. I'm your host and real estate productivity expert, Kim Hughes. Join me as we focus on real strategies and implement real solutions designed for you to achieve major success in your business and life while getting you organized. Well, hey everyone and happy new year. We are ready for 2023. We are excited. We have some great goals. We are just looking at an, an opportunity to just do better than we've ever done before. So I want to take this opportunity and say thank you for everyone who has supported our business over the years. And we just couldn't do anything without y'all. We love working with our real estate agents. Um, we love helping them build their business on the back end so they can be successful on the front end. So that's what today's podcast is going to be about. And we are going to talk about the opportunities that are ahead of you for this year. And by just doing a few things here and there, by tweaking it, um, you could have one of the most successful businesses ever. So get ready, put on your seatbelt, get your pen and your paper, and get ready to take some notes because we are diving in. So um, as I talk to my clients, you know, I, I at the end of every year, I schedule calls with all my clients to talk about how we did um, with every goal that they had in that year. And then we talk about the goals that they have for the upcoming year. And then we try to help them put together a plan, a strategy, a step-by-step -step action plan to make sure that those goals are achieved. And one of the things that I have found in my 35 years in the industry is that business owners don't really know how to create the steps to make that goal a reality. They know what they want and that's the goal, but they don't really think it through to decide how am I going to achieve it. So they tell me what they want, but when I ask them how they want to achieve it, 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 it's crickets. I mean, total silence. So I thought that the month of January, this would be a good time to break down some of the areas of your business. And we dive in deep, help you create those action steps for that goal so that you can achieve it by your deadline. You know, some people have goals every quarter, some have a six month goal, some have a yearly goal. Um, there's nothing wrong with having daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, etc. But you've got to know what works for you and what works for everybody else doesn't matter. You know, your business coach can tell you, you know, okay, it's 2023, let's get down in business and let's set up your goals and here's what your goals should be. But those goals may not be in line with what's going on in your life, right? So one of the things that I am facing right now with 2023 is that it's going to be a very exciting year for my, for my personal side, but as well as my business. I mean, we're already launching new products, new services, um, everything that we planned in the last quarter of 22, I've already started putting it in place because I had my steps down and I achieved each step at a time and checked it off. Now that I've checked them all off, it's just a matter of implementing it and then making it happen. So like for me in 2023, I have to be, be very smart in the way that I'm working. Even though I have a fabulous team, you know, I still have to do my own stuff. And so I have to be very creative in how I'm going to utilize my time for at least the first six months because we have three grandchildren being born within probably a month of each other. And we have a set of twins and then we have one baby. So there's a lot going on there, even though they're not going to be my children. I am that mother that will step in and help when they need me to help. And so I want to make sure that I'm very organized, very structured, got my goals in place so that nothing kind of hits me out of left field. Okay. So what I thought we would do as I was doing my own, I thought this would be a great opportunity to do a series of um, goal setting and how we're going to do that. So every Thursday when my podcast is released, we're going to focus in the month of January an area of the business and then we're going to break it down into actionable steps. So to make sure that you follow along, 
I have given you a goal setting roadmap and I will put the link in my show notes. All you have to do is click on the link, fill out the form, and you will get the, um, the, the uh, roadmap by email um, immediately. And if you don't, just reach out to me, Kim at KimHughes.com, and let me know you didn't get the link. Check your spam folder, check your junk folder, and all of that as well. Okay, so when you are creating and understanding that there is a starting point that enables you to better design where it is you want to go, then you are more relaxed, you're not frustrated, you're not overwhelmed, you don't have the anxiety that goes with, oh my gosh, well there's a goal, but I don't know how I'm going to achieve it. So imagine yourself uncovering the potential buying spots while creating the opportunities for that growth. And then by diving deep, you are able to visualize and create your intentions, your vision, and so much more. So where do we start? Well, like I said earlier, every agent is different in the way and where they are now and where they want to be by the end of the year, right? So don't look at what other agents are doing to meet their goals. It's interesting to watch what they're doing. It's interesting to hear what their goals are, but just because it's their goal doesn't mean that it should be your goal. Your goal is based on you, the way you think, the way you work, the way you have your personal life set up, the way your business is set up. So you need to listen to what's going on around you, but doesn't mean you have to do it. But always be open to ideas and, and tips, etc. And don't, don't be shy to ask questions. You know, I mean, the most successful people are the ones that do ask the questions. So keep that in mind as you start this journey for 2023. So where do we start? Well, you know, let's just dive into the first thing that's the hottest topic on the market right now is social media marketing. Now you may say, well, you know, social media, I've got that down. You know, I'm posting every day. I'm doing what I need to do. But there's so much more to just posting. So here's the goal. Let's say the goal is to... um be better, be more engaged with your audience, more engaged with what they need, more engaged in what's going on in your market, in your community, with your neighbors, your business, the local businesses. Take a look at all of that because that's where you're going to find that your social media is going to set it, set it apart from everybody else's. Okay. Real estate, and I've said this a million times, it's its own industry. Nobody, there's not another industry out there that is like real estate. So when you see other people marketing on social media, that's the way they market for whatever they are doing in that industry. So you've got to be very aware of what does your audience need. So this is an area that you can dominate in your market, but you have to have that strategy. Um, You have to know what you're going to talk about to get that engagement, to get that conversation going between your audience and you. Getting them to text you, call you, email you. So these are some of the tips that I'm going to offer. So make sure you write them down, but also know that we always put the show notes um, on my website under the blog, I mean, I'm sorry, um, podcast. So you'll find it there. And then anytime you need help or questions, you can always reach out to us. Um, we've been doing social media before social media became a thing. So we are the experts when it comes to how to put your real estate business in the social media platforms, because every one of them are going to be different. Facebook is different. The way you communicate, LinkedIn is different. Twitter is different. Instagram is different. Pinterest. I mean, they all have their own audience and you have to learn how to speak to that audience on that platform. So let's talk about some of these tips. I believe if I look at my notes correctly, I mean, I think I've got like 15 tips for you with, the, with just social media. So let's break it down. Um, so what are you going to talk about? Okay, you're a real estate agent. Obviously, you're going to talk about real estate. But as a real estate agent, you have to tap into your market. You should be the person that they go to when they need 
a moving company or they need an electrician or they need somebody to clean their house or do landscaping. You know, think of anything or any other business that has to do with real estate and you need to know those people. You need to follow those people on your on your um, social media platforms. Um, highly recommended that you do it on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Um, those are the top three. Then you kind of look at what you're going to post. So now you've got to create a calendar. So you should have a calendar for every month. It should be very consistent. So what are you going to do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc.? And be doesn't mean you, that's all you post. It just means that on that day, we're going to post um, all my a testimonial, okay? But then throughout the day, you might find that um, you're at the dog park, you're videotaping, something cute goes on, you tape it, publish it to your platforms. People love that. Video is huge. Um, in all platforms right now. So anytime you can do a video, that's going to get you a higher engagement. So make sure you remember that. That doesn't mean you have to be in front of the camera, even though I want you in front of the camera, but it doesn't always require you to be in front of the camera. So if you're at the dog park and you're videotaping your dog playing with another dog, you don't need to be in that video. So just videotape that and talk about it, you know, like, oh, you know, Oscar and Falcor are running down the road like they know they're going to take on the world and, you know, whatever that may be. So get real creative and get very observant in what goes on around you, because you may not think it's all that interesting, but if it makes you smile, then everybody else needs to see it or you need to talk about it. OK, so we're going to dive in here. Um, hope you're ready. Um, but these are some of the tips that when you are planning out your social media strategy, the first thing, like I said, is have a calendar. Now that calendar can be a paper calendar. It could be an online calendar. I always recommend Google because you can share it. You know, so if you, if you were one of my clients, we would probably have a Google calendar and you and I would talk about how we're going to utilize the content for that calendar. I'm going to research all the content. I'm going to put it on the calendar. Then we're going to have a conversation of, is that a good idea? Does that, does that follow within what you're thinking? Does that apply to your market, etc.? Then we're going to get it fine tuned and then we're going to give you some homework, you know, so the, your homework would be do two or three posts a week just to be a physical, vi you know, visible person. You have to show up. You cannot hire a company and say, just post every day for me. That is not going to work. Um, I have never seen that work. And so if you have that working for you, I would love to find out what you're doing. But you can have someone like us help you market on your social media, but you still need to be engaged. It's your business. They want to see you. They want to hear from you. Okay. So you and I would have that conversation of what are you comfortable with? What can you commit to? What is it that you're excited about? And then we plan it out from there. But you're going to have your standard post on your calendar. Now a standard post could be anything, and I'm going to tell you I've got a lot. So it could be anything from your monthly market stats. Um, that's where I would highly recommend doing a video and then posting a graphic of your markets. Um, I think that'd be great. I'll give you another little tip on that is why not put the market stats in the video on your website, post a video on your social media platform saying, Hey, you know, the uh, December market stats are out. Jump over to my website to learn more about what's going on in the market. And then you have a link. And then when they click on that link, say from Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn, they're going over to your website. Now they're watching the video. They're looking at the market stats. While they're there, they're going to jump around on your website to see what else you have going on. What properties are available? How do you sell? I mean, um, how do you market to for your sellers? How do you help your buyers? You know, what do you have on your website that you can offer them to keep them there for as long as possible? as well as a call of action. Okay. So keep that in mind. So there's a lot of different, I mean, you can go really deep with all of these tips. So I'm just giving you like a highlight of them. Okay. Um, the second thing would be talk about the interest rates. 
if you have a relationship with a loan officer, you know, maybe the two of y'all get on a Zoom call. Maybe y'all go out and have a cup of coffee and you sit there, videotape yourselves talking about what's going on in the mortgage industry as far as interest rates and all the things that go on with that and how to pre-qualify, you know, how to, you know, do all the things that you need to do. So if you do have a buyer, they can see this video and learn from that video of what they need to do before they even start reaching out to you, okay? Um, weekend events, those are huge, popular. I'm, I'm saying we have done this since the time of social media and they work every time. Make sure though that they are good events. They're events that appeal to the majority of your audience. So if you are, um, let's say you love wine and you're, most of your audience are, they like wine too. Well then of course you're going to want to, you know, promote a local winery, you know, or a, a wine tasting, things like that. If your audience is more of dogs, then you're going to talk about, you know, the dogs. I mean, look at who your audience is and that's the events that your audience is going to want to see family events, adult events, festivals, um, concerts, you know, um, 5k runs, marathons, whatever is going on, put it out there. Okay. Um, it's always good to have a couple of them at least each week so that they have a, um, they can choose what they want to do. Okay. Then you might want to talk to your insurance agent. And the reason why I say this is because we literally just went through this situation and I thought, well, I know what home insurance is. I know what I need to do. I know how much I need. I know what it's going to cost me, etc. Oh no, whole new world out there. If you're not in the insurance industry, you really have no clue. So get with a sh an insurance agent um, or broker and have a conversation with them and talk about what the homeowner needs to look for in home insurance. Um, do they need an umbrella policy? You know, things like that. People just, the average people do not know about this stuff. So the more you can educate them, the more they're going to trust you, the more they're going to rely on you. And then you're going to get those phone calls, those texts, those emails saying, Hey, I need to talk to you about either buying or selling. Okay. So the more you teach them, the more they're going to come to the table. Then of course, you're going to put your just sold, um, your just listed. You're going to put your testimonials, I'd say one a week or maybe two a month. You don't want to overdo that. Um, you know, that that's not what really your audience wants to see, but I think it's important that they do see it so that you can have proof that you are a good agent without saying you are a good agent and you're reliable and you're helpful and, you know, people love you and I wouldn't hire anybody else. You know, those testimonials are for those people that are, that still don't know you, but the testimonial may put them over that edge and say, okay, I'm calling now. Then we want to talk about personal things. So what do you enjoy doing? You know, do you like hiking? Do you want to go walking around your neighborhood? Take videos, put them on there. They don't have to be long. They could be 30 seconds. They could be two minutes. You know, these are not long videos. I mean, the, the longest a video should be would be three minutes at the most. Five really pushing it because you're not going to keep their attention. Um, then talk about the local restaurants, the mom and pop restaurants. You know, I would even call them and say, you know, Hey Joe, I'm coming over to your pizza place on Friday night. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to do a video and put it on my Facebook page and give you um, some free promotion. And are you going to be there? And if you are, I'd love to have a little conversation with you, introduce you to my audience, etc. They're going to love that. And if they're not going to be there, then pick a date that they're going to be there and talk to them. You know, I mean, they would love that. And then guess what happens in return? They are going to love you for promoting them. And so in return, they're going to promote you. And can you imagine how many people come through a local restaurant on a daily basis where they where your name is being dropped? You know, so if somebody on that bit saw that video on your Facebook page and they go to that pizza place and they say, Hey Joe, I saw that, um, Mark over here had a video on your restaurant. That's why we came. Oh yeah, he's a great agent, great friend, highly recommending. Now you're getting a conversation going. Engagement is happening. Okay. 
Then, um, let's see, what else are we missing here? Um, take a trip around town. You know, just take videos, pictures, etc. Talk about them. Put them on, the, on your social media. Um, you also, you need to make sure that anything that you do post, you know, whether what I call is standard content. Standard content means motivational, um, inspirational, um, you know, your anything that's not specific to you doing it yourself, right? So make sure that you have really good graphics. You are up to date on all the marketing that comes with that. You know, the fancy fonts, the right colors, the right message, etc. And, you know, a lot of people are using Canva, you know, and if you don't have a Canva account, you can get a free one. I'll leave the link below in my show notes so that you can just click on that and go open up an account. Um, but even if you paid for it, it's only like $10 a month. But get it for free, try it out, and then use it later. And then if you were to have someone like me working with you, then all we need is just access to that account, and then everything in there belongs to you. Okay, so just remember that when you hire people to help you, make sure they're using your account and not their account. Because if you're using their account and then y'all dissolve the relationship, they take all that with them. You do not own it. So make sure that any account that you go into, you own it and you have your staff, you know, or your virtual assistants, your productivity team, etc. You own everything. Okay, that's very, very important. Like your domains. I mean, I'm kind of getting off topic, but your domains, don't rely on other people to buy them for you. Um, buy them yourself or give that person the access to go into the account to purchase that domain for you. Because I've seen that happen as well. Okay, back on track. So, um, just make sure you have really good design, you know, appealing, eye-catching, you know, marketing is always going to be a stellar thing for your business. Then, Another topic is how-to tips. So you can get on Pinterest, YouTube, you can just go to Google and Pinterest and, and do a search on, you know, how to paint a room, how to change out a faucet, how to change the shower head, you know, how to do anything with the home to maintain it is a great thing to offer your clients or your audience, I should say. Um, promote a home builder. You know, back last few years, home builders really didn't want to have anything to do with agents because all they were, they were the middleman. And now what they're doing is now they're wanting to have that relationship because markets slow down. They've got inventory. You are an agent, so it's a perfect marriage. But make sure before you start promoting a, a home builder that you've done your research, you have a relationship with him, and y'all have an agreement. Okay, so don't just go out there and pick a home builder. Make sure you do your due diligence in hiring and partnering with a good home builder because you don't want a bad reputation because of somebody you've referred to, right? Um, maintenance tips, you know, I mean, again, you can find these on Google, YouTube, Pinterest. Um, post them on your own Pinterest account as well. So even though you may find a tip on Pinterest, when you create it, put it in your account on one of your boards because that's going to help drive traffic to your Pinterest boards and that's going to cause engagement and followings, etc. So it's, as you can see, what I'm talking about here is that you can create it once and then use it multiple times. So that's being very, very time um, aware of what you're doing with content. All right. So that's really important. Um, look at your community, you know, even you might even buy a gift card to a local business and use it as a, as a giveaway on social media, you know, um, could do anything with that. You could do trivia questions. Um, you could do like, you know, if, if, if somebody asked me, you know, well, where's the gazebo in Minneola, Texas? Well, I could tell them, well, that could be a trivia question. First one that wins or the first five goes into a drawing and you know, we pick a, a winner. Um, another great thing to do is to be aware of who the student of the week or the month, teacher of the week or the month, um, put those out there. You can get that from your um, ISD. They will tell you who those people are. They're probably on the website. All you have to do is just go get it and put them out there on social media and just congratulate them. Now, when it comes to a student, you might want to be 
um, maybe reach out to the parents to make sure you get permission and all that stuff. But, you know, that's no big deal. Everybody wants to brag about their kids. And then, um, or just have a, um, go into Canva and create a image or a graphic that says, you know, student of the week, you know, and teacher of the week or month, whatever y'all school district does. And then put that out there. And then you could even send them a card in the mail. You know, you can get addresses from anybody, go in the tax roll and get them and just send them a little card in the mail saying congratulations. You know, maybe give them a $10 gift card to Starbucks or, you know, to Target or, you know, Burger King or whatever that is, you know, that would be great. Um, but then as you are um, looking at other ideas, think of hobbies, you know, like what do you enjoy doing? You know, is your thing about running marathons and, and all of that? Then talk about it and say, hey, I'm running a marathon this week or this Sunday, you know, um, come join me and root me, root for me and, you know, give me a high five as I run by. So things like that could be cool. And then get somebody to videotape you, you know, um, that would even be more fun. And then you could break it down into several segments and put them on your social media. And then, of course, if you have pets, everybody loves pets. So any cute videos that you do of your animals or other animals and your, your friends' animals and all that. So just remember, this is the key. Every tip that I've given you is going to set you up for success. But you have to take action, okay? So again, when we're talking about all of these things, you have to create the strategy. Then you have to implement it. And then you have to manage it, okay? So this is where we come in at Kim Hughes & Company is we do this for you. We work with you on how to make your social media uh, platforms stellar. We want them to be working for you. We want people engaging. Um, we do have unique things that we do because that's all we focus on is real estate. And that's all we do. So... Um, and then to kind of wrap that up is, you know, know your analytics. Um, each platform gives you analytics of the measurement of engagement. So make sure you look at that, see what your highest posts are, you know, the ones that engage the most, tweak it, make it better. And then if you see you're getting no engagement on another topic, then you might want to tweak that and try it again. But eventually, if it's still not getting any traction, just delete it and replace it with something else right? Um, so, you know, don't just be the real estate agent in your community. Be the real estate advisor. Be the person that they feel comfortable with in calling or having a text with you or a private message or a phone call about their real estate needs for the year, okay? So when you go in to any conversation with anybody, don't go into it with the mindset of, oh, this is my next deal. Oh, this is my next transaction. Ooh, you know, I'm going to talk about sales of real estate and that. No, be kind of a laid back, take a deep breath, enjoy the conversation, be engaged, look at them in the eye if you're in person, um, ask questions, and then, you know, um, let them feel and know that you are listening. That's the key. It's all about relationships. And if you're not willing to put the time in to build that relationship, you're going to stay right where you are. So make sure that you focus on keeping in your mindset that I'm developing relationships and I'm giving opportunity. Um, you've heard me say this before, but I'll say it a hundred times again, is that um, the great Mary Kay Ash taught me one time that when you make a phone call and it's a cold call to someone, they're not saying no to you. They're saying no to the opportunity. It has nothing to do with you. It has all to do with what's going on in their life at that moment, at that time. So keep that in mind when you're putting your marketing strategy together and let's focus on social media. So I've given you so many tips. I think I've given you a no at least 15 or 20. So go print out the show notes, make your notes, go set up your calendar, go set up your online calendar. And then, you know, if you're still stumped and not sure, 
what to do or if you're that agent that says I don't want to do this this is not where I want to spend my time then reach out to us we're more than happy to help you manage it we ha manage hundreds of social media accounts so we know what we're doing and we know how to make it work um, just make sure that you're everywhere on the internet your online presence you need to have make sure that it's stellar okay and you don't want a seller looking for an agent and they come across you and you're like, eh, you know, no real good branding, no good marketing. They don't engage. You know, that's not who you, who I want to sell my house. I want the guy that's out there, you know, he's involved. He's talking about the industry. He's talking about my community. He's excited about it. He's ready to go. That's who you want to work with, right? So keep that in mind. And as we all know, we do have to offer our audience something that is unique from every other agent. So you need to think about that. What makes you unique? What makes you stand out? Um, what makes them want to come to you over the other 10 agents that are competing for that listing? So think about that as well and then put that into your marketing strategy. Let people know, you know, what makes you so great? You know, if, if somebody came to me and said, well, why should I hire you over, you know, the competition? Well, I'm engaged. I'm going to learn your business. I'm going to know who you are. I know what you need before you need it. You know, that's what I do. And, you know, that's why I've been around so long. But at the same time, I'm in tune to what my clients need. And, you know, even though every client may have the same need, it's how we get there and what we do to accomplish that goal so that they feel like they have achieved it. So just remember, you don't have to accomplish the goal on your own. You can have people help you get it, but if you need help putting together the strategy, the step-by-step -step action plan that you're gonna take to take your social media to the next level, and you're really just not real sure how that would work, then let me know. We'll definitely have that conversation. So this was going to, this is the first in the first series of what we're going to be doing for the month of January. So I would love to hear what you think. Um, a lot of this you have probably heard before. If not from me, you may have heard it from somebody else. But you know what? If you're not doing it, then you needed to hear it again. So just make sure that you take a moment to go through the show notes, make your notes on them, and what's going to work for you. And if you need help, then you just reach out and schedule a call with us and we'll get on and have a conversation. And we will see you next week. And next week, we'll have even a better topic for you. So stay tuned. Don't forget to download my um, goal setting mat roadmap and the link in the show notes. And um, y'all go out and make it a great day. Make it a great week. And we are off to a good year. Thanks. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you know someone, and I bet you do, who would appreciate this podcast, please share it with them. As a reminder, this podcast can be delivered directly to your favorite device by using the subscribe links you can find in the show notes below or over at unstoppablerealestateagents.com. Remember, it takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. Have a great day.